Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BTN HD, and yes, part two of 12 of our little Windows 8.1 deployment series using MDT 2013. On this video, guys, I'm going to show you how to import uh, your Windows 8.1 within the operating system node. It's real simple. And one of the things that I love to do is I like to have a little bit of management to know what type of operating system I'm importing within the operating system node. So within the operating system node of your MDT server, uh, I, I normally like to create a folder like Windows 7, Windows 8, Vista, and etc. So let's create a folder. We're going to right click on the node, go to new, and we're going to give it Windows 8.1. And we're going to click on next, next, and basically we're going to hit finish. Now I like to take this a little further. Within the operating system folders, I like to break it down into two other folders. Uh, a 86 bit and a 64 bit. Now, if you're not going to be pushing both architectures on your, you know, inside your office, you only need to create one. But I like to create it just in case. So let's create new and it's going to be x64. And there you go. And we're going to create one more. And this one is going to be x86 for 32 bit. And we're going to hit finish. And let's uh, expand our Windows 8.1. Now, with this video series, I'm actually going to be deploying Windows 8.1 32-bit. So I'm going to right-click on my folder, and I'm going to do Import Operating System. Now, this is really up to you. If you downloaded the ISO file within your TechNEC or Volume Service Center uh, web portal, uh, you could mount it on your ISO. You could mount the ISO within your virtual machine if you're doing it that way. Or you could burn it into a DVD, or you could you could actually extract the files and store it locally or in the network and just point to that file. So let's hit next, and I actually have it uh, within a network drive, and there, there it goes. We're gonna press OK, and we're gonna hit next. Uh, I'm gonna leave the destination directory name as is, and we're gonna hit next. A nice little summary and we're gonna hit next again and right now is initializing and importing everything within that folder into our deployment share and we're back guys now the process is completed successfully which is always a great thing we're gonna hit finish and we're gonna go inside our 86 folder and there it goes guys that is how you import an operating system within your MDT 2012 uh, actually 2013 uh, server uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this video stay tuned for part 3 of 12 I think part 3 uh, I'm actually gonna be um, breaking down the custom settings INI file as well as the bootstrip uh, bootstrap INI file and also configuring a couple of options for your deployment share properties uh, again at the description part there's a link that you guys can go to my site and gives you a course outline of what's going on for all 12 videos Hope you guys enjoy. Leave comments below. Give me thumbs up and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.